If you think about it, Punch-Out! is a very strange Nintendo series. In a lineup with Fairy Boys, Half-Squid Hybrids, and Medieval Warriors, a short, upcoming boxer from New York who fights stereotypes doesn't exactly seem to fit. Nonetheless, the Punch-Out! games are fantastic, featuring memorable characters, insane difficulty, and most importantly, tight gameplay. But which one is the best? Well, the arcade Punch-Outs feel pretty slow and clunky compared to the rest of the series, so I'm not the biggest fan of them. Mike Tyson's is pretty good, but its repeat fights hold it back from besting the rest. So, looks like the winner is the Wii Punch-Out. It's a great game with the tightest mechanics. Thanks for watching. Bye! Man, it feels like I'm forgetting something. Oh yeah, does anyone remember Super Punch-Out? It seems like out of all the Punch-Out games, I've heard about this one the least. Even though it advanced the series a lot by putting the series into hibernation. In Punch-Out! Wii, only two characters from this game return. And it's barely even represented in Smash, with none of Max moves making reference and only one alternate color. But Super Punch-Out! is by far my favorite Punch-Out! game. Because unlike the others in the series, Super feels a lot more aggressive and fluid. This can be attributed to three factors. Hi. I'm Slightly In-Depth Gaming, and let's talk about a game series with only slightly racist characters. First, you can actually land punches at any time. In the other Punch-Out! games, you're sort of forced to wait in place a lot of the time. You have to dodge the boxer's punch, then only after that you get to counterattack and deal damage. The first few boxers, like Glass Joe and Von Kaiser, will allow you to get in some punches between their attacks. But for the most part, this dodge and hit style is the bulk of the NES and Wii titles. Super is a lot more free form. Up until the last few boxers, you can land punches pretty much at any time if you're good enough. This encourages the player to get a lot more aggressive when fighting opponents, and as a side effect, it makes you a lot more proactive, just like a real boxing match. There's just a lot less waiting. But don't get me wrong, it still takes skill. You obviously can't just throw at random, as the boxers will still block punches where their guard is up. But with well-timed jabs and uppercuts, you can get in some extra damage and charge for the second element that makes this game more aggressive, the super punch. The Super Punch works similarly to the KO Punch in the arcade titles. The more hits you get in, the higher that bar is gonna fill. When it reaches the top, Little Mac has four new options. A Super Uppercut, Super Body Blow, Rapid Uppercuts, and Rapid Jabs. If Mac gets hit, the bar goes down. In the NES and Wii punch-outs, you instead gain star punches, uppercuts that deal a huge amount of damage. But when you get hit, your star goes away. One star in the NES game, or all stars in the Wii version. The trade-off being that in Wii punch-out, stars can stack and create even stronger punches. The super punch system is more aggressive than star punches for two main reasons. Firstly, it allows opponents to go down quicker when you play good. While star punches do speed up the fight by dealing a lot of damage, once you use one, they're gone. So you have to gain another one by getting counters and timing your punches. The problem is, it creates an awkward reactionary rhythm, where you counter, wait, star punch, wait, counter, and so on. The Super Punch solves this by staying active as long as the player doesn't get hit. You really get to lay the beat down on the enemy boxer. Once you gain control of the match, you don't have to go back to following your opponent's lead and waiting. Just like a real boxing match. 
On top of that, the second reason the Super Punch is more aggressive is because it allows for levels of failure. Like I explained before, if you get hit while having a Star Punch, you lose them all. It makes a harsh system where essentially it's pass or fail. It does make the game harder, but it also means you're punished the same amount for getting hit by Glass Joe's weakest punch or by Mr. Sandman's Haymaker. Super Punch Out is a lot more dynamic. If you get hit by Gabby J over here, the meter won't go down by that much. But get hit hard, and that bar is going to hit the floor faster than you. The player is able to recover from minor mistakes a lot easier, but feels the punishment of big hits a lot more than the conformities of the NES and Wii titles. Last up on our list is a mechanic that affects the game the most when it comes to aggressiveness. Super Punch-Out's hidden mechanic, Stun. Stun works in the same way that it does in Street Fighter. Each boxer has an invisible stun meter that goes up as they get hit. Once it reaches that boxer's threshold, they become dizzy. Some will move side to side, spin around, or do whatever Super Macho Man is doing here. From there, you have to hit them with a super punch at a certain timing for an instant knockdown. This mechanic promotes aggressive play the most. The stun meter will quickly go down if the boxer isn't being hit constantly, and super punches generally cause the most stun, so the player is being encouraged to get risky, get aggressive, and lay down the punishment in rapid succession. Just like a real boxing match. Okay, I'll stop that now. But getting a stun also takes a lot of skill, because oftentimes, Getting one requires you to dodge all of an enemy's attacks and counter big punches for damage. The game is aggressive, but with every move you make, there's risk. Super Punch-Out is designed to keep the player pressing further. All three of its main mechanics, Freeform Punching, the Super Punch, and Stun, encourage the player to get risky. The other Punch-Out games focus on a reactionary style of gameplay, which is fun and certainly harder, but I'm hoping for the next Punch-Out game that the Super Punch and Stun will return, because combined with the crazy gimmick fights that the Wii game introduced, it would make for an incredibly high-paced, entertaining, and risky Punch-Out game. Couple that with bringing back some of Super's boxers and extending their themes for each of the fights, and I'm sure the soundtrack would knock your ears right off. Just like a real boxing match! <laughs> hey guys, I just wanted to thank you all for supporting me, because for this video, it celebrates a full month. I know, it's not a lot, but I haven't really committed this hard to something in a long while, so it means a lot to me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. I'm gonna be uploading on Fridays from now on, so be on the lookout for that. Thanks for watching. Bye!